We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who got married on a beach in 2018, and instead of a honeymoon, we decided to travel the world together, and so we created Tide Not Travellers. We left our home and jobs behind us and boarded a one-way flight, but the global pandemic caused us to rethink our travel plans, so we spent six months exploring Estonia. Now we're finally continuing our travels, taking a new route and exploring some of the Greek islands. Between us, we have visited 52 countries, and we'd love you to join us as we continue our travels and explore the world. Catalonian traffic jam. As if these roads weren't crazy enough. Hey guys. Just a bit further on from Mirtos Bay, we've arrived at our second site of the day, or at least we've arrived at the viewpoint for yeah. it. <laughs> so yeah. we've just come off of the main coastal road and this yeah. is the only access road to Assos, so it is open, but there's a warning sign because Assos was quite badly affected by Hurricane Inos. It yeah. looks like a lot of debris and rock was washed down through the streets. We might be about to see even worse roads than we've just driven on. It's a beautiful little place. You can see it's just perched so right on that narrow bit of land to that almost island. It's not an island because it is connected with that narrow strip of land which has Assos Castle on the top. But yeah, we're going to cautiously go down this road and see what we can see of Assos and um, hopefully it's in good shape. Yeah, hopefully grab some lunch while we're down there. It'd be quite nice. The views on this island are just like stunning. They just blow me away. I can't believe how beautiful this island is driving around. I also can't believe how crazy the goats are. <laughs> they do not care about the cars on the road. They just sit there enjoying the scenery and make you drive around them. Look at these views though. Just the whole way around, just driving on this like mountain edge and just looking at the ocean view the whole way around. Never get bored of it. Yeah, so we've come to Kefalonia pretty late in the season. I can imagine it must be absolutely scorching in the height of summer here because even this late in the season, and we're very late in the season, it's like end of October now, it's still scorching today, very warm. We feel very lucky to have this weather, especially after first arriving straight into Storm Ionis. <laughs> Happy to be able to explore the island in the sunshine now. Just driven into Assos, which is absolutely stunning from just driving in there. Then we've just seen the sea either side of us is beautiful. However, you can really see all the destruction from all the cars that were buried and the rubble. There's one just next to us here that's just completely seconds. destroyed. And you can just see all these poor cars. I saw shots on the news of them just completely buried. I think there was like 25 cars on this part of the island and none of them are any good anymore. There are people from other parts of the island that were coming over to just feed them and take care of them. But I think things are uh, up and running. We've seen a few people about, so yeah, we'll go check it out. They've done a great job. You can drive yeah. down here. It's all been opened. And um, the nature side yeah. of it is still absolutely beautiful. The scenery is spectacular. So yeah, we're going to go take a look. As we were just saying about some of the destruction and um, the cars that have just been I mean, to say they're a write-off is the biggest understatement. Yeah. You can see over our shoulders there, there's a couple of big yeah. tipper trucks, um, which have come in to obviously remove a lot of the debris. But here's Poor probably cars. the worst of the cars. 
and you can just see it's full of rock and gravel and it's just smashed straight through the windscreen yeah you can just see the windscreen just completely caved in storm Ernest was no joke you can see the destruction it's caused and this is all over the island it, there's places like this I mean Assos was particularly hit hard by it but yeah the whole island is really taking quite a battering as well as this car there's a boat here fiberglass that's just been smashed to pieces look at this it must have been smashed up against the rocks down here or something or well, the harbour is over there so maybe it was the harbour this poor little Peugeot full of rocks inside I mean look at the headlights it's just full of mud and rock so there's at least three cars that we can see that are like this this is the third vehicle it's taken a real battering on this side and just look how it is full of mud and rock and debris crazy Hurricane Ionis was uh, was brutal. Here in Assos, you've just basically got this wind alley between the mainland and the castle on this tiny stretch of adjoining land between the sea this side and the sea this side. So I'm sure the wind would have been howling through here. You can see on the road, the mud that's washed down here and the road goes up here to the castle. But this place is just absolutely spectacularly beautiful. It's such a unique place. Like I said, just that narrow strip of land joining the mainland to this almost island that Assos Castle is perched on. But this coastline is spectacular. Love to stick my snorkel on and get down there. Looks fantastic snorkeling. The secluded village of Assos nestles in a horseshoe-shaped harbour out on a peninsula, overlooked by a 16th century Venetian fortress. Assos is located 36 kilometres north of Argostoli and has only 100 people who live there. It's one of the most charming spots on the island of Kefalonia. The traditional architecture, the peaceful landscape and the pebbled beaches compose the natural beauty of Assos. A stroll around the narrow streets reveals colourful houses with pink and white blooms, lovely paths, old churches, and small taverns perched on the quayside. After the 1953 earthquake, the French came to the aid of the people of Assos and helped to rebuild the village. As a thank you, the square has been named Paris Square, and a plaque is dedicated to the French, situated close to the waterfront with an anchor and old cannon. Situated on the northwest coast of the island, the Venetian fortress in Assos was built in the 16th century to protect the townspeople from pirate raids and the threat from the Turks. Its 2,000 metres of walls follow the contours of the terrain and form an irregular rectangle of 44,000 square metres, reinforced at five points by bastions, virtually running around the naturally impregnable peninsula. Parts of the walls and an arched entrance gate are the main preserved sections. Until 1956, the castle of Assos was used as a place for political prisoners who lived there and cultivated vineyards and cereal. Nowadays, the castle is a great place to wander around and consider how Assos would have looked to its Venetian rulers. It's so beautiful. I can literally see the fish in the sea over there. It's just so clear from here. And I've got a rubbish eyesight, so if I can see them. <laughs> Good to see that Storm Ionis has not ruined the nature here in Assos. It's stunning. Look at that view. You can see the cute little harbour over there with all the colourful houses. And then up there, you've got the castle. Amazing. Such pretty pastel houses everywhere. There's so many kittens. This one was right here, but you ran away. Hey guys. Stop to see this view, but look at the little baby kittens. Hello. Hey guys. In amongst the cactus. They can see 
where the road has just turned into a muddy river and these guys are working to clear everything. They're doing a great job clearing it all up. Nice to see some things open. I think they're open. This little diggers here to remove a lot of the rubble. They're clearly trying to dig up cables and piping that's been destroyed. It's a lovely little memorial here on the harbour side as well. It's looking a bit, bit muddy and sorry for itself, but you can appreciate how beautiful it is. This statue here and this nice anchor and cannon. It's all in front of this beautiful backdrop of the Ionian Sea and the castle up on the hill. We've made our way to the edge of the harbour side and the opening out onto the Ionian Sea. It's such a beautiful little place, Assos, and right here at the edge of the harbour. I mean, again, I just want to get my fins and my so snorkel on. So many fish. So many fish. It's like a <laughs> snorkeler's dream, it really is. You don't even need to snorkel though, you can just stand here and see them all. So <laughs> yeah, from the end, end of the jetty. But we are um, planning to head to the beach now because unfortunately I don't think there's going to be any restaurants open because I think a lot of the locals have had to leave because they're digging up power lines and things. Yeah. So sadly... There's a lot of work going on and places are closed down. Yeah, so sadly there's no restaurants open because we were really hoping to be able to support the businesses but I don't think we can. Um, but we're going to head to the beach and hopefully find something there and have a few hours just to relax at the beach. En route to our final stop of the day. Yeah. I'd love to go and look at the castle um, but it's it's just time and I think we're too hungry to walk up there. <laughs> we need some lunch. They've got a bait going on there. I'm kind of glad I can't understand them. <laughs> yeah, there must be stressful times here, bless yeah. them. I, they must have so much stress and so much to sort out. As if 2020 throwing a pandemic at this island, throughout the world, wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. They then had Hurricane Ionis, a week later a storm, and then a little earthquake the other day. So, what a year! <laughs> we wish uh, Assos a speedy recovery and yeah. uh, hope everyone gets on okay. Yeah, best of luck. So far today we've driven from Loris, which is where we're staying on Kefalonia, to Argos Dolly, where we saw the turtles. We then drove up on the mountain road across here to Mythos Bay. We've then driven along the coast and we are currently in Assos and we're now going to carry on and continue going north, looking at these beaches potentially and heading to the most northern part of Kefalonia. <laughs> Elates, Elates Beach, which is, we've come from Assos to here, and we're super happy because we found that it's got a gorgeous beach and a taverna, so we can get some lunch at 3.30 in the afternoon. Pretty hungry now because we'd obviously hoped to eat in Assos, um, but you know, understandably can't do that, so here we are, yay! <laughs> Late lunch! <laughs> we started early, but we've seen way too much already. <laughs> we've done way too much. So we are going to get some food, and get some sun there. and go for a snorkel because it looks like a beautiful rocky shoreline. Epic for snorkeling. I cannot yeah. wait. Let's go. <laughs> this place looks dreamy. This taverna looks insane. And then I've just seen the steps down there to the most clear, beautiful water. But this taverna, oh, this is my favourite place we found. This place looks like heaven. I'm kind of tempted to skip eating and just get straight in there because that looks so nice. Can we just check it out first? I think you might like snorkeling here. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> this is so cute. This looks delightful. I'm going to snorkel that coastline. <laughs> I'll be right there with you. <laughs> Should we skip lunch? <laughs> 3.30, we don't need lunch. Let's grab some quick food. Oh, <laughs> I 
a salad then so that I can go straight in the water. That doesn't count. <laughs> We've carried on up the coast from Assos up towards Pescado in the very north of the island and we've just stopped off at a beach. We were looking for a beach to stop at for a few hours and we've just come across this beautiful little taverna called Alati. It looks very new and not only that, it's right on the coast, right on the beach. Check out this view. I've just ordered my new favourite drink since coming to Greece, which is a cappuccino fredo, cold coffee, so nice, and Greek salad so that I can get in that seat. Yeah. <laughs> Said I was going to, I'm itching. I'm only having lunch because Greg's making me. <laughs> I want to be in there. <laughs> Our food has arrived. I've got chicken and chips. It's absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to tuck in. So happy with my Greek salad. This is, and my coffee, it's the best. This is a good find. I'm happy with this. I'm happy to sit and eat this <laughs> and then go in there. I adore Greek salad so I'm really excited to be eating lots of salads whilst we're here in Greece. After months of eating pancakes in Estonia, it's about time I switched to <laughs> something a bit healthier. And the staff here is so lovely. Cheers! Hey, <laughs> still. He's After so a dead. fantastic lunch, we are going down to the beach to get in this sea. Cannot wait. <laughs> Straight in with the snorkel. I'm so excited. What a gorgeous little bay. This is amazing. I love anywhere that's just easy just to go straight in and just calm water and just see some fishies. I'm a lazy snorkeler. <laughs> fantastic stop what a beautiful little bay and awesome snorkeling the sea was so clear best snorkeling of the trip so far back to the cars get dried off and we're off to our final destination of the day So we've just driven 10 minutes from Alachi's beach to our final destination of the day. And we've arrived at Fiscardo, which is our final stop. <laughs> it's a beautiful little fishing village in the northeastern corner of Kefalonia and uh, I can't wait to see it. It's, uh, <laughs> we've arrived for sunset as well, so maybe we'll get a little cheeky sundowner. <laughs> yeah. It's like a beautiful cove of itself, it's got colourful houses. I would say this Lots has been boats. my favourite day in Catalonia so far. Amazing, waking up, going to Argostoli, seeing the turtles, going to see Assos and then getting to snorkel. The snorkeling there at the beach was just beautiful Stunning. and now yeah. making it the here to Piscardo. Yeah, just fish everywhere. <laughs> As is this view. 
can yeah. see over to the island of Ithaca over there. Big cruise ship as well. And we're just going to walk down this lovely, beautiful little walkway, tree lined, and into the village. Let's go check out Fiscado. Pretty. This is so quaint and peaceful. I've never been here. It's so cute. Everyone talks about this place. Craig's been saying we've got to come here. I have to admit it. Everything Craig said about today, it's been it's been even better than. I've, yeah, I can see why people rave about all these places on the island of Catalonia. Myrtle's Bay. I forgot about that earlier as well. That stunning view. <laughs> Just complete sensory overload today. <laughs> The historic harbour village of Fiscado is one of the most beautiful parts of Kefalonia. Situated at the northern tip of the island, it is one of the few villages that remained untouched from the major earthquake of 1953. Today it is known for its cosmopolitan and warm atmosphere. Fiscado is one of the most popular places in the Ionian for visiting yachts thanks to its natural harbour. Its winding waterfront is lined with luxury boats, upmarket seafood restaurants and is home to some of the priciest real estate in all of Greece thanks to the patronage of the rich and the famous who drop by on their mega yachts. It's a great place to wander around the quaint shops and grab something to eat or drink whilst enjoying the harbour views. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful little place for Scardo. It's the kind of place you just turn up and wander around, pick a restaurant, pick somewhere to have a drink. Everywhere's candle lit. Oh, it's so pretty. All it's candles. beautiful by day, and then by night they light all the candles, and it's spectacular. And all the boats come in, and you just think, what a life! All yeah, boats coming in and just coming here for dinner. Very envious of all these people who are mooring up their boats, stepping off of their boats, and then literally falling into a seat <laughs> and getting drinks and food. But it's fine. We got here by here <laughs> we got here by wheels instead of uh, by water. So. Although we had a bit of water en route. <laughs> Fiscardo doesn't seem too badly affected by the storm. Uh, I want to stay here. Yeah, and, and all the little shops. I could buy so much stuff, but obviously I can't <laughs> because we've only got a finite amount of space and we're already bursting at the seams. <laughs> but we have seen diving tours yes. and boat trips, so we're details going off. to look into that for sure. Oh, I, I think can smell the food. We're going to find somewhere to get a drink. So we found ourselves a great spot here at Le Passage. It's a little cocktail bar, they do cakes and things. Um, we're not being very rock and roll there, we're getting a hot chocolate because we're a bit chilled from uh, being in the sea and having a long day. So we're having a hot chocolate because, yeah, that's how cool we are. But look at this beautiful boat side <laughs> view we've got here and candlelight. We ordered some chocolate cake or chocolate pie as well. Finding quite often over here when you order something, uh, when you order like just a drink or something, it often comes straight away with something else. So like if you go and order just a couple of glasses of wine, get like a get some peanuts with it straight away. We ordered a couple of hot chocolates and a couple of chocolate pies because we need something sweet. But we've got like an extra bit of cake. I'm hoping because that's definitely not the chocolate pie. So yeah. Wow, so yeah, here's the chocolate pie that we ordered and they definitely do just give you an extra bit of cake with the cake that you order. 
<laughs> Amazing. We are definitely getting a sugar fix tonight. <laughs> oh, it's warm as well and soft. So good. Give it a bit of chocolate on that. Yeah. I'd eat yours whilst it's still warm. <laughs> Join us next time as we leave the Ionian Islands and head over to the Aegean side of Greece. Our time in Kefalonia may have come to an end, but our adventures on the island of Santorini are just about to begin. If you can't wait that long, head over to our Instagram at TideNotTravelers for daily updates on what we're currently up to and what's coming up in our future videos. We've carried on up the coast from Assos. We're heading <laughs> Happy waiter. And chefs. <laughs> Can you blame me? She's been going on for the last three hours. When are we going to get to have lunch? I want lunch. Yeah, Which is I'm, fine. Yeah, That's and then okay. I want to skip lunch because it's so late and the sea is there. And it looks like that. Exactly, yeah. Wouldn't you skip lunch to get in there sooner? <laughs> Especially when it's 3.30. <laughs>